So about a month ago, Jennifer and I went for a ride. Uh, we went up to Placid and rode some trails. She broke her collarbone, and I felt pretty guilty about it. Uh, her dropper post had broken, and I wasn't able to fix it on her hardtail. Um, and then she chose to rode the hardtail as opposed to riding the beast. Uh, the beast is an old felt. It's extremely heavy, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 42 pounds, uh, 26 inch wheels. Um, it's a decent bike for maybe some winter riding or, or training or whatever, but um, she wanted to be on something lighter and more playful. So she chose her specialized Jinx hardtail with the broken dropper posts and that contributed a, a great deal to her uh, broken collarbone for uh, some time I was thinking I needed to get her a, a much better bike because she had progressed so much um, that she really needed a better bike and so after the collarbone break it didn't take long before I had kind of decided that I was definitely getting her a, a good bike. Um, the YT Jeff C, I think, is a perfect all around bike. Uh, 150 mils of travel, front and rear. Um, it's light, uh, certainly lighter than anything we've been riding, um, which makes it feel like it accelerates quick. Uh, it's enough travel for pretty much anywhere, probably other than a uh, downhill park or some really uh, super aggressive downhill trail, trail riding trails, um, which we do have a few around here. Uh, and with the purchase of the YT2s, um, between the two of us, the commensal metal meta is a good enough bike to go out and, and ride at the park and the twos is built for downhill so if you know if she wanted to uh, have the big bike when we go to the park that was perfect because I could ride the Meta and she would have a, a trail bike that was suitable for everything and when she goes to the bike park she could ride the twos so I figured the uh, Jepsy was a really good plan. Um, it was going to meet all of our needs. The uh, cassette did have a little bit of an issue. Um, there's a pinch bolt that's supposed to be tightened to four newton meters. Uh, it was tightened to four newton meters, but that was not nearly enough to keep the cassette locked into place. Um, so I was having a little bit of problems with the shifting. Uh, trying to get that nice and smooth and on my second ride I, uh, I realized what the issue was and when I got back home from that ride uh, I checked the fork stuff it was at 4 where it should be and I had to go to 12 in order to get it
So somehow the cassette itself is slipping. I'm not sure how to have tools to figure out how to fix that. But the cassette doesn't look like it's seated. Probably why I've been having trouble shifting it so much. Hopefully, the set's not ruined. Well, I was able to easily wiggle the cassette down <laughs> and into place. All right, roadside repair. Hopefully. Problems. pressure to the rear shock. I think that might have been part of why I was getting so many pedal strikes.
almost. Thank you.